A five-point weekend for C.J. Smith as the Riverhawks defeated Arizona State twice. Four to one last Friday night, eight to one on Saturday night. For Smith, four goals and an assist on the weekend. Three of the goals, a hat trick, a cycle hat trick. One shorthanded, one at even strength, and one on the power play on Saturday. And C.J. Smith is our Riverhawk of the Week. The, the hat trick, the first of your collegiate career, a bit of a thrill, or hey, it's just another hockey game and you just worry about each shift. Yeah, uh, just another hockey game worried about each shift, but it's definitely exciting. I had parents out here for a weekend, so for them to get to see the first one was pretty exciting. Now the hat trick comes on Saturday. First of all, we're down two men. You're the first man out of the penalty box. Is there a point you have to make a decision whether you head to the defensive zone to kill a penalty or you look for the offensive opportunity. Is there a particular key you go on in that situation? Uh, for sure, get back uh, to the, the house first, protect our D zone. I saw Gambo make a huge block and I saw him, he looked up, saw me, and was able to make a good pass, led me on a breakaway. So now with you and the goaltender, what goes through your mind in those situations? Do you know what you want to do or is it kind of, as it develops, you kind of try to read what the goalie's doing? Uh, kind of depends what the goalie's doing. I think in my mind right away I had to shoot. I didn't really, didn't really think I could have beaten him. Took a shot and rebound came right back out to my stick and I was able to put in the empty net. See, a lot of people take a shot and then kind of curl away from the net. It seemed as though you were just single-minded about following that puck. Yeah, for sure. I uh, just took a good hop and just came right back out to my tape and I was able to find it. All right, that's the first goal. Second goal comes on a wrist shot from, I'd say, 40, 45 feet out. My question, I guess, is did you see a spot where you're trying to pick a spot, or does it matter of just simply get the puck to the net? Uh, get to the puck to the net. I've been kind of watching him all game. He was pretty quick to drop, and I knew if I just shot it quick, caught him off guard, and he was a little slow to react, and fired it, and just didn't really make a reaction to it, and I was able to score. So you say a heck of a shot. Is your shot something you've worked on a great deal? Yeah, we work on shooting quite a bit. Usually about five or six of us will stay after practice for about 10, 10 minutes and just work on our shot, just trying to improve every day. I know you also have a shooting bay. Do you use that much? Yeah, I definitely use the shooting bay. I prefer practice on the ice because it's a little different feel when you're not wearing your skates and you're not really moving, but the shooting bay obviously helps a lot too. And So I just try to utilize every, every tool we have here. Third goal comes on the power play. Uh, I think you were the right side of the net and the rebound came your way and just snapped it upstairs. Again, is that a question of picking a spot or just getting it back to the net? Actually, uh, Gamble made a little pass to Whitey and Whitey fed it across the slot to me. And uh, it was just a shot off the pass and we've been really preaching just shoot off the pass and just shot it quick. It was actually on the ice and like I said, he was slow to drop and just snuck in five hole. How difficult is it to, to receive and uh, pass and fire a puck in, kind of in one motion? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty difficult. It's something we work on a lot, though. So every day we just, usually in practice, there's a specific drill we work on, shooting off the pass, just trying to, trying to get better at that every day. You like your game at the moment? Yeah, no complaints. Uh, been able to be in a rhythm here lately, and Gambo has been working really hard, and we've been able to click a lot, and we've been scoring together. You guys seem to just, the chemistry between you and Joe Gambardella seems to be absolutely terrific. Yeah, for sure. Uh, been, able to, been able to mesh. We've played almost, I think every career game I've played has been with Joe. So we've uh, definitely built some good chemistry and hopefully keep that going here in the playoffs. If you're, if you're back to the rest of the ice, you still feel like you know where he is? Yeah, we've kind of gotten to the point where Joe can be in the corner and he can make a, a pass out to the quiet area and kind of know where I'll be at in the quiet area, and we've been able to have some success doing that.